Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land, please. The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth, fresh off the high of a successful lost victory. How fucked up would it be if I just came in and said fresh off the high of, like, crystal meth? That would be out of control. The only crystal that I do is sometimes I go to the Crystal Mall in East Vancouver because they have some pretty dope food there, I have to admit. SZHH8ETJ. Enter the dungeon. Doesn't really fit. Um. You know, I, I, I probably have a little bit of a bad habit not related to going to the Crystal Mall, which is not a euphemism. That place is a local business that could deserve some support, to be honest with you. Um, but that bad habit is in calling runs before they actually, you know, have, have had a chance to go through their paces. But I gotta say, 3 HP, an all stats upgrade to start, and one of the better spacebar items in the game, although it has been heavily nerfed in Afterbirth to... Uh, not guarantee you deals with the devil any longer, is a really, really encouraging start that has me thinking, like, how do you lose this one? Well, there are ways that are not uncommon. For example, a uh, run reroll room, uh, which I really think is a sentence that you could only properly say in a scooby dooey and accent. A run reroll room. Uh, that would, uh, that could cause problems, or it could make our run even better, you know, but there is a chance that it could go could go all south there. Um, the other option is a little bit more insidious. Lose your half spirit heart, take damage on the next floor, don't get a deal with the devil, and just never quite get strong enough to uh, to surmount the game. You know, get bad RNG in your item rooms, and all of a sudden, in, in two or three floors, the advantages that we're starting with here might not seem so valuable. Uh, that being said, the speedball pickup early on is relatively good. Plays into spun, but we've gotten like nearly all the way to spun and guppies a couple runs in a row here. Uh, and, and have not quite been able to finish the transformation, which is disappointing, but otherwise not so bad. Uh, considering that both of those ended in a win regardless. But, um, just the, on its own merits, Speedball is a decent syringe as well. I like the shot speed up, but I really, really like the speed up to aid in dodging and also to, uh, basically insulate us from what's one speed down, which could be a, a catastrophe. We get the screw. Absolutely acceptable here, and... You know, the good news about starting with such a high-quality uh, setup here is that we don't need everything to be Brimstone. You know, we don't need everything to be um, Goathead or Death's Touch or something like that. As long as the items that we pick up are useful, then we can totally justify keeping them for now. Might as well take this book out of the rotation. Um, I think that we will come up here and just pop this for a chance to find a secret room on the left or in the center. Yeah, it did work. We got two keys out of it. Kind of hoping that we'd be able to get, uh... Well, you know what? Okay, I'll tell you what. Come back here. I was kind of hoping we'd be able to get the five cents. This is more of a risky room to drop it, but we're guaranteed to get a consumable out of it. Just need to find a safe spot for ourselves here, and that seems good. And we got a key and broken onk. Not incredible. Uh, broken onk is... I mean, it's better than cursed skull, but apart from that, we're not too excited. Is that a cat trying to get in here? Excuse me, you made me drop my freaking controller. Oh my god. Here we go. Hit the, hit the escape button. Get the game paused. Oh lord, I just sat on my own left testicle. How, do you, how does that happen when you're playing video games? You trying to get in here? Yo, you're welcome. Honestly, who's going to pay the medical bill? Trick question. The answer is the Canadian taxpayer, myself included. All right. Are you still hanging in there? Uh, okay. Awkward. Uncomfortable. Obsession, Calvin Klein. Let's move down to the next floor. Yeah, I know you're sad. There's no laptop here for you to sit on anymore. I moved it because you keep sitting on it. It's amazing that, you know, I know you have a brain the size of a hazelnut. That's not an insult. It's just science. You can't figure out uh, the correlation between you rubbing your, your furry face and body all over stuff that is valuable and then it not being where you wanted to sleep anymore. Yo, this is, this is Insidious 2 right here. It's happening in front of our eyes. Don't take any more damage here. Good stuff. Uh, that's some good stuff right there. Right there. We need to find a spirit heart of some sort. Or just never take damage on the rest of the floor, which is actually fairly plausible. I mean, it is the burning basement, but we're relatively strong as is. Shouldn't be impossible for us to make that dream come true here. No chance at an arcade, which means, um, small chance at getting into that boss trap room. Requires one, uh, two heart deal with the devil, or two one hearts, or, you know, you get the idea. Gimpy is really good. 
Not immediately useful for us, but but really good long term for sure. Trying to shoot the fires because they could contain spirit hearts, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be gambling on that to be a, a strong option for us long term. Although it would be awesome if it happened, it's it's relatively unlikely. All right, you're dead. Uh, we get a red heart. We can go to our shop, but we need one more penny in order to be able to buy a spirit heart, unless it's half price, which again is possible but fairly unlikely. Kind of feel like we should just go for the boss fight here and, and make this happen, but you know, if there is the possibility to buy a spirit heart, that would be the prudent solution that could save us a whole lot of heartache. So let's go do that. Looking for a hand stamp, baby, this evening. Looking for. I mean, we could have possibly gotten Diplopia uh, if we'd not spent five cents here, but the odds were relatively low. And you know what? I'm actually really happy that we got our spirit heart, because Larry Jr. Uh, times four is not the hardest boss in the entire game, but it can be a little tricky. He says just before kicking the shit out of him. Um, the tower. And we. Okay, okay. There's. There's some interesting plays here. I do want to take both of these. But first, we're going to play the Christ out of this Demon Judgment. Oh my god, we're getting our spirit hearts back. Thank you, Gimpy. What do you got? We're not going to take that yet, because it could be uh, a little dicey. He hasn't paid out yet. I would really like him to, though. Alright, take this. Rewind it back. I sure got the shit that make your booty go smack. You know what? I'll give you two more. I'll give you two more. You got a spirit heart back. I'm gonna give you one more then. Oh, and he gave me the syringe that I've wanted my whole life but didn't know. Okay, tower or wheel of fortune? Uh, definitely wheel of fortune. Now, with that second syringe, our speed is out of control. And we're one away from spun. We do have Whore of Babylon active, so try not to squander that. Come in here. Yeah, I, I could really use these consumables, honestly. Especially with a spirit heart involved. Wheel of Fortune we're going to use as a kind of a bonus to make bombs better. We're going to blow up a chance for a secret room at some point, probably. Or a tinted rock. We're just going to put Wheel of Fortune down next to it for a little added value. Uh, that's, that's probably the way I use it the most these days. I think it's actually a, a fairly... It, it's a cute strategy that I think also has some you know genuine merit associated with it as well. Okay, okay. This run is good. I mean, it started great. It's still good. If not, well, I mean, it's probably substantially better as long as we can keep our damage high with the uh, Horror of Babylon here. And, you know, we're only two items away from becoming Guppy, which is fairly conceivable to make happen in the future. If not, you know, the near future. The future. But, I mean, even beyond that, just having a good space bar item that allows you to get three Guppy or three flies per room is... Uh, it's worth it. Five cents gives us a chance at an arcade in the future. Very valuable because we'll be using that arcade to uh, allow us to stay in the Horror of Babylon state long term. This is really good. It's really good. Now why couldn't you just lay there when there was a laptop next to you? You're laying in the same spot you laid. There's just no laptop. Like, it's, it's like I took your bed away and you're sleeping on the floor where your bed used to be. You know, you, there's no reason you should sleep in that spot anymore. You can move to some place more comfortable. I guess that maybe it's got an aroma that is conducive to your enjoyment because it smells like you. I don't know, man. Cat psychology. That's a growing industry right there. Parents, send your kids to cat medical school so they can become cat psychologists. Peter, you always play cat psychologists with me. Uh, this pill, we don't know. Are you a wizard? Shit. Okay. It's Gertie. Well, in a way, are you a wizard against Gertie is not that bad. Because I think if we stand close enough, we can hit both shots into Gertie. But look at this. I mean, this is not going well right now. That didn't even hit. At least we got a bomb back, but that bomb didn't even hit there. I can't even hit the fucking flies, man. Can't hit an enemy that's two feet in front of my face. Okay, now we got full rate of fire, both barrels coming out the front of our face. This is a very positive thing for us. Nearly took out the red nub there, at least gave him the business end of his business end, so. Don't have to find ourselves in times of trouble, Mother Mary, come for me. Okay, that thing's broken, good stuff. Shit is taking forever here. There's another red nub back there, isn't there? Can't fool me, occasionally that shot comes in. Holy God, it's done. Oh, there are two back there. No wonder. 
field and shots from all comers there. All comers. That's an awkward sentence. Um, I didn't take the HP. I probably will, but I didn't take it yet. Ideally, I could get like a temperance card, take the HP when we leave the floor, immediately get back into Horror Babylon State on the next floor. You know, that would be a dream come true for me, but that's a little bit of wishful thinking. It's not impossible, but it's a little bit wishful thinking. That is not a secret room. Wow. Okay, that could be a secret room without uh, requiring too much imagination. Keep them at bay, keep them at bay. And take another pill and hope that it works out a little bit better than Are You a Wizard directly before the boss fight. Ooh, telepills into... Okay, uh, yeah, we'll probably do that, but let's go see our item rumor shop that is probably inevitably around the corner up here, so we might be able to get better in the process. There's our secret room. Three cents for a bomb is not horrible. And there's our item room. All right. Make me excited to go to our mob trap room. Mmm, you, you have failed in your task. That being said, I actually do... Whoa! It also gave us Magic Mush, which I am totally going to ruin Horror Babylon for without caring one bit. Uh, number two is pretty good, not least of which because it also enabled us to get an all stats upgrade. That doesn't hurt, though. Nice, good damage right there, yeah. That was, that was smart. Um... But sincerely, I feel like uh, number two is not that bad. I feel like it gets a bum rap. <laughs> Seriously though, somebody better rap that bum, it's real stinky. Are we gonna get uh, anything from our shop on this floor? I, I may endeavor to buy a spirit heart, but apart from that, I'm, I'm fairly happy with where we're at and I'd really like to get an arcade on the next floor to get back in Horror Babylon State. Um, you know, we, we put ourselves out of it Intentionally, because we had to in order to take Horror Bat or in order to take uh, the uh, Magic Mushroom, but I would definitely like to be back in Horror Babylon State on the regular so we can consistently do more damage. That should be fairly obvious. Spending five cents will not preclude us from getting a deal with the devil, so it seems appropriate. If we. I mean, either way, really, we're going to be taking the HP, because one of these ways, uh, either, you know, Glass Cannon or. Stacking up HP, we've kind of got to make this run work, so, you know, why, why use bombs here? What am I doing? Well, I'm going back on my plan and being very rude to my donation machine uh, in the hopes of buying both more options and the spirit heart. Sorry, donation machine. And yet still having enough money to take us down to the next floor with a good chance to get an arcade. More options is real good real good. So I'm going to be happy to take that and maybe a second secret room here or alternatively here. There we go. Eternal Heart maybe? Mm, plenty of pills. Telepills. Are you a wizard? Luck up. That's a good one. I can see forever. Also a decent one, but not for this floor. We'll take telepills. Uh, we're way late for uh, boss rush attempts, but there's a small chance we can make it work. And if we can, telepills will be something that we're happy to have. Oh, there's an arcade right there. That's beautiful, man. Well, instead of playing the arcade, though, we're going to play this... Or instead of playing the Blood Bank, we're going to play this Demon Judgment. Where's my Gimpy Plays, man? We got a luck upgrade. I'm owed Gimpy Plays. Alright, we're back in Horror Babylon State. Red Hearts, we will definitely use back here. This is a great situation to be in. I think, actually, what I'm going to do is crack this... You know what? We should fight the boss. I was, or fight the bosses. I was gonna say, let's just get the hell out of here and then, you know, use our red heart to play the, uh... To play the blood bank some more, but it's actually easier to use our red heart to play the blood bank some more if we're right next to the blood bank. In my opinion, at least. And I would not mind... Oh, Gimpy with those red heart payouts. I would not mind getting IV bag. I I don't know if I'd I'd probably prefer IV bag to blood bag. Yeah, I think that's fair to say. But either way, we're picking up some fat stacks here. Mostly, I would just love some spirit hearts. I can't believe there we go. Gimpy is finally paid out with one spirit heart. You're too good to me. You really are. Want to be out of this floor in about. 45 seconds. I think it's fair to say that that's probably fairly unrealistic. Oh, we got the Bumbo! Okay, well now we got uh, another thing to do. Where are we gonna give our coins? We're gonna give them the Bumbo! We're gonna give all our coins to the man who calls himself the legendary Bumbo. 
His name's Bumbo. Yeah! His name's Bumbo! Oh, who? You always gotta have a little, little extra phrase in there. Well, we're not getting that. Um, super stoked to be getting more red hearts from Gimpy, though. Yeah, don't really care about that right now. I have a feeling we can fairly realistically make our way to a, a max level Bumbo before we get to the womb. Take this for now. We should be picking up all HP at the same time, but honestly our damage and, and alternate sources for damage are acceptable enough that I don't think it really matters uh, too appreciably whether we have uh, Whore of Babylon or not. As long as we know that we're going to be able to get back into the Whore of Babylon state easily, then that's that's the big ticket item for us right now. Sweet. Yeah. It's going real well so far. Real slow, but real well. Um, yeah, I mean, I think using a bomb to get a rune is a very realistic outcome that everybody can be happy with. To be honest with you, I don't really like Blue Baby's Only Friends, so we will be skipping that. This should be, yeah, Boss Fight Alley over here. The reason I like number two so much, man, is it counters so many different room types. Like, not having to worry about these guys just because of the fact that we have, uh... Just because of the fact that we have the ability to hit them from across the room anyway is so nice. Okay, that's good. Now just, oh, I still got hit, but we got infamy. Fuck you. We did it. That is right, I did it. Number five, are you cute? Okay, good. Telepills. Uh, I mean, the shop. Good, good opportunities to get Bumbo up there, but I don't want to be so rude to our donation machine that, you know, a Canadian pop act writes a song about us and goes to number one on the Billboard Hot 100, making the entire country incredibly proud of their outrageous accomplishment. Just a couple of boys from Thornhill, Ontario is all I'm trying to say in this hypothetical situation. Couple hits, couple hits. Lovely. Deal with the devil. Ooh, torn photo is great as well. And yeah, let's 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 do it. Totally fucks over our blood bank play. However, now we're permanently in Horror Babylon state ability to fly. And I think that probably, uh, not to mention the uh, Ouija board tears as well, uh, that probably outweighs our, our negatives right now, for sure. Permanent Whore Babylon is not only my uh, side gig as a thrash metal musician. Yeah, there we go, next level Bumbo. Um, next level Bumbo, of course, is the management company that represents Permanent Whore Babylon. What makes you small? What Makes You Small was our first uh, single. We will take Taurus here. Our speed is actually really good. All right, well, we want to be out of the next floor. <laughs> that, that is the secret room. We want to be out of the next floor in uh, about 30 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and say the boss rush is probably not in the cards for us on this one. And you know what? That's okay, because we're building something special here. One day this generation is going to rule the population, but until then we're waiting. We're waiting on a max level Bumbo mostly. Alright, I mean I'll take him. I won't be unexcited to take it. This was not the way we were supposed to go to begin with, but I'm glad we came back to get the chest, I suppose. What are you, what is that face, Ruka? You like, you, you're sniffing and you're liking? Someone making something out there, you think? You're making me hungry, I'll tell you that much. Hi <laughs> yo! It's not really it's not really funny. It's not unfunny, it's just not really funny. Um I mean we got number two. Might as well take advantage of it once here. Sure. The magician. We'll use that on one room, but not this room. Achoo! Wow. Wow. Ooh, next level Bumbo. It was kind of like a little early for it, but I thought with that nickel in there we had a chance, and indeed we did. Indeed, we did. Golden Horseshoe. We already have more options. So, I don't know if uh, if Golden Horseshoe is is really selling me. Remember to reset your shooting from time to time. Just let your finger off the shoot button so you can get the maximum value out of uh, number two. It's an item that I think, much like Bob's brain, you know, has a lot of value associated with it. It's hidden to some people, and I... You know, it's uh, it's sad because it's it's a lot of fun when used properly. I'll tell you that much. You know, know your limits, stay within it. You'll have a good time here. Big rooms really allow us to get Taurus going, apparently. 
Just whipping around at full speed there. I guess we should try that on the regular because it'll also mean that we're pretty unlikely to get ourselves caught in our number two blast and the invincibility is is no uh, negative factor there as well. We're doing enough damage to uh, basically kill enemies before it goes off, but that's not going to be true for boss fights, I suppose. Alright, well we're about to find out if it's going to be true for boss fights. Second secret room? Indeed it is the case. Mm, maybe. We'll, we'll talk about that. And by talk about it, I mean, like, probably not really talk about it, but... It's not necessarily a bad thing. Throw some bombs in here. I'd really like to get through the first phase of Brownie during our invincibility so that I'm not just wasting my time here. Sorry, Bumbo, I blew you up there. Toothpicks is awesome. I mean, <laughs> we do have a theoretical chance of boss rush. I'm just throwing it out there. We have to be going pretty freaking fast, but, uh... I'm gonna just say no to it on this run, you know, oh, that was a little bit of a waste there. Not every run is necessarily suitable for boss rush. We have to maybe accept that this run, while good, is a run that is not necessarily boss rush focused for us. Sure, you know, life goes on. This is like an ideal power to have for this room. Don't really want to blow up those skulls, but it's not... The worst idea. I'll tell you what, let's save a key and expedite the process of getting this done here. Tough Love is okay. Uh, we have had a luck upgrade over the course of this run. So, you know, positives there. I was shooting at the enemy that can't be killed. Not my proudest moment. I think it's it's better than whatever the spacebar item was that was in there that I can't recall right now. Oh, Emperor is so good. Uh, didn't mean to pick that up. Meant to donate as much money as possible, actually, while well, this is awkward. Uh... We will probably use it immediately, or save it for the Cathedral, one of those two. The Emperor card really is one of my favorite cards in the game. Not just because it's really useful, but because it uh, saves saves some time. I also, what are we going to do with Telepills then? Yeah, exactly. Uh, I'm also of the opinion right now, I just noticed, holy shit we're low on Spirit Hearts. Uh, it would be nice to, you know, take care of that, I guess, at some point in the future here. I didn't realize. We should be blowing up skulls non-stop to get as many black hearts as possible. Man, it was a little, <laughs> little dicey here. Two and a half spirit hearts. I was just living life as if, you know, there was no tomorrow. Let's see if we can hit max level Bumbo. I also, you know, as you, as you may expect, did not realize that this was not the, uh, or that our last floor was not the last floor. Which is pretty silly of me. More bombs. Can't get any cash for Bumbo now. I wouldn't have donated if I had uh, realized the truth of the matter was that we still had one more floor to go. Uh, before we, you know, got to the, the mom fight at least and the Rorschach point that takes us into the womb. Oh, I should not take this. Very sorry, Bumbo. Max level. I think you got max level in you. You got max level written all over you, buddy. Hey, there we go. Just barely. Um, I'm keeping the the uh, demon judgment alive rather than just blowing it up uh, this money now belongs to me you might expect that it's more valuable for me to blow it up but I, I very much disagree actually because we have Gimpy basically just because we have Gimpy but because we have Gimpy I I feel like if we have a few extra spirit hearts it can be worth the plays to try to get our second syringe and if not our second syringe at least an item that's useful like sin robes or something like that you know ceremonial robes uh, so I think that keeping that alive is a fairly you know, bountiful strategic decision. I would also love to encounter a Tinted Rock and, uh, you know, improve our chances of not dying like a little bitch. Skulls. Skulls give us black hearts. Or hero font cards, even better. Dang it! Well, there's no rush. That's a scary story. You wanna you wanna tell a Canadian horror story? There is no rush. I hate that I bought that key. We may need I'm gonna make good use of it, I promise you that. Don't really care about mom's purse either. We haven't really knocked it out of the park trinket wise on this run. You know, of course my my dearest dream, if you'll allow me to red barchetta a little bit, is that uh we never need another spirit heart. We'll take a fly item here. 
Just to give us a better chance at Beelzebub, but uh, truth be told, that's not that m meaningful. But uh, Bob's brain strikes me as something that's pretty dangerous when we have as little HP as we do. You know, I, I mean, do you go to the curse... The cursed room on this floor? It's gonna cost you half a spirit heart. Or is it? No, no, no. We can do this without costing us half a spirit heart, thus enabling the chance to go to that deal with the devil. First off, drop that in there. No spirit hearts. What a time to be alive. Puberty? Are you a wizard? Wow, incredible. Alright, well, we'll Emperor card to save ourselves that half heart. Just to give us a chance. And it really is just a chance, but a chance of taking a deal with the devil. Bumbo's eating up. We didn't even get a deal with the devil. At least we got some spirit hearts out of it, but I mean, I'd say that's a pretty extreme waste of the Emperor card, but hopefully you can see where I was coming from there. The good news is this run is still pretty, pretty freaking good. And it's been good for a while, but um, we are kind of falling into one of those scenarios where you could imagine that we could lose this run. And the, the way that you would imagine that we lose this run is we just don't get any more spirit hearts. And, like, that's... That's not really a scary story. In fact, it's very plausible that we don't get any more spirit hearts. Um, we're fairly strong. We really can't afford to take any deals with the devil, though, which is a problem. Because we're not going to get that much stronger in all likelihood over the rest of the game without being able to do that. Okay, we got some, we got some chewability here. Get out of there. That's perfect. Confuse him. Let Bumbo eat him. Ah, man, do we want to go to the curse room? We're like two items away from becoming Guppy. And there's definitely no secret room next to it. Ooh, shoot the whoop, okay, I'll take it. I think it's probably better for us. Ah, fuck it. I'll lose a spirit heart to go in here. Let's try it out. Okay, we got two spirit hearts back. All is forgiven. Uh, yeah, our damage is really good, so I think Shoop the Whoop is gonna, you know, reflect that. Loss Protector is just, man, if it weren't for the transformation, it would just be absolute shit. Ansus tells us where to go, I'm gonna take that so we can roll with the Joker card, um, and, you know, get a deal with the devil on the first floor that I feel owes us a deal with the devil, but does not give us a deal with the devil. I can see forever allows us to take a little shortcut here, we get Bomb Bag, which is fine. That was terrible damage. That was buoyed by Gimpy. So thank you very much to Gimpy for not letting me feel the brunt of the punishment for my own idiocy there. I appreciate that. Didn't have to do that. Well, that's one way to stop the bad habit of shooting at these enemies before they pop up. Make yourself unable to shoot. But not unable to shoot! I'll tell you that much. Mr. Fred seems like so much rarer lately. We used to see him all the time. We get little Steven... We get a Krampus fight. Krampus is basically dead. Krampus' is head. Hey, I mean, it's not bad, but it's not what we're looking for. Okay, down to the next floor again. And, you know, we, we basically doubled our HP. Well, actually, we probably added, like, two. But it's not that bad. Considering that at this point of the game, you know, you're probably usually considering that you're more likely to take damage than gain HP. We did get the syringe. That should be spun. We've been working on that for fucking ever, man. There's like two runs in a row where I've been trying to make spun happen. Or three runs in a row where I've been trying to make spun happen. It's finally happened. And actually, now with Poison Touch, uh, we're in a beautiful spot. Because we're going to be getting a ridiculous amount of black hearts. By poisoning enemies during our... Uh, that was really smart. <laughs> by poisoning enemies during our, uh, our Taurus ability. So this is, you know, very solid. Very, very, very solid. We can do that room, so we might as well do that room. If possible, it's really a mistake to uh, to not use the virus on a room. Oh, Cricket's Head and an ability to fly that'll ruin our invincibility, but we're getting invincibility every room anyway, so... But it's only 1 HP, and we're probably able to get to full HP fairly easily, so... Yeah, I think we actually don't take this. We can already fly, and it would ruin permanent Polaroid invincibility when we can probably fairly realistically get to 12 black hearts anyway. Seems like not uh, a good decision for us, long or short term. Okay, boss fight's coming up. Good room to use uh, Shoop the Whoop on. Poison 
Poison, poison, poison. Get the black hearts. That was really good. We're basically unkillable now. I feel like we're unkillable now. And you know, uh, if I feel we're unkillable, then uh, as far as I'm concerned, we're unkillable. Let's do it. Mom fight. Started from the bottom, unfortunately. That's not meant to be a reference to a Drake song. It's more just, you know, the direction we started the, the fight in. And it's already over. And we did get a deal with the devil, so we'll just go to the cathedral and use our Joker card right away. Now we're two guppy items away. What do you do here? I think you try it. And now you can probably go back for your other HP, but... I'd like to stay in the Whore of Babylon State if possible, which we should be able to do on the next floor using the Joker card. We'll see, though. Uh, and actually, this is a great opportunity to use the Joker card. We crack that open, see what's inside. Luck upgrade, beautiful. Pop the Joker card. Immediately become Guppy and also get our Whore of Babylon State back. Yeah. Uh, one of those runs. <laughs> this little while ago, it was starting to look slightly dicey. Now it is uh, beyond unlosable in, in several different ways, apparently. Oh, Joker again? Nah, two of clubs. Oh, uh, it's just 20 bombs for free. Nothing serious. You can take the money if you want. You're dropping chests occasionally. Explosive diary. I'm dropping my own chest back here, apparently. Yeah, this is a really good run. Um, this this is a lost run that could have potentially won as well. Um, like, a, a run as the lost that could have won as well. Probably should get out of that dangerous line of reasoning, but... You know, since I am occasionally playing as the Lost, it seems like it's something worth mentioning from time to time. That's, uh, I can see forever, I think. Which maybe will pay dividends two rooms back here? Yeah, it will. Which gave us, uh, I was gonna say, let me guess, like a Telepills. Then the Telepills teleported us to a second secret room, which teleported us uh, to the deal with the devil that we already went to anyway. Oh no, I've gone cross-eyed. Uh, more money, you know, I don't really care Bumbo. I got you to max level. You're on your own any money that you can pick up is uh, is yours to keep and I'm not gonna be salty about it But I'm not gonna sit here and you know wait for you to take a whole bunch of it Not quite strong enough to kill Isaac uh, before he had a chance to do anything He's still gonna get one teleportation out of it, but and we're gonna hurt ourselves as a result as well apparently But this is as close to unlosable as you can imagine right now, especially considering we've got nine lives to go along with it Alrighty. Milk, uh, as many people have told me, is incredible. Lowers your tear delay. That could be, like, very, very useful for us. Holy Mantle, also amazing. Pretty good chest, all things considered. But either way, like I said, pretty much everything is just the gravy on top right now. Don't get me wrong, the gravy is a pretty principal part of a uh, of, of balanced breakfast depending on where you're from and what you're eating and, and how much you value you know your long-term health but uh, as of right now I mean we, we have to get hit twice to even take one hit of damage on every hit of damage we take we get invincibility we also get an instant chance to get uh, a black heart we also get an instant chance well, assuming we kill the enemy and they're afflicted by poison at the time of death um, we get an instant chance to get a black heart. We also get a chance to get a spirit heart right back thanks to Gimpy, so... Uh, even when we get hit, you know, there's like an... Probably like a 60% chance of when we get hit, it actually benefits us more than it hurts us, so... And there's there's nowhere to run on this one. Popula Duplex. Definitely going to be acceptable. 29.37 to finish this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.